Hi everybody, it's Bonka922. Uh, I want to mention it before I get into this Pet Girl Sakurasso. I had to get rid of the live stream I did today because somebody in the live stream decided, yeah, let's put this here that might determine Bonkai, just destroy Bonkai's channel. So I had to get rid of it, unfortunately. But I will do the first episode of it next Tuesday and we'll go from there. But this time, I'm not going to invite anybody. Okay. Pet Girl of Sakurasso, episode 8. This one was actually pretty damn good. Not as It was funny. There were funny parts. There were funny parts. There were fucking funny parts. But this one was really about Sorota. And um, this one got me a little bit. It, it, I wasn't crying, but I, was, I felt really... This was bad. For him, he was like, ah, oh. you know. So let's get into it. Um, beginning part. They're all at the table, and you know, um, Nanami, Nanami, yeah, Nanami, Nanami, Nanami. <laughs> Can't say her name correctly. Um, she's got two letters for Sorota. It came in the mail. Everybody's there, you know. Mashiro, uh, Senpai, Jin, Jean, Jin. And two letters. So one letter he opens up, and it's, it's so funny because he says to Nanami, Oh, I never knew, where were your contacts? I didn't know you wear glasses. And she was embarrassed. She's like, no, 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 no. And then... Uh, uh, um, Misaki, you know, senpai, is there, and she just jumps on her, and you're so cute, you know, and, oh, crazy, and he opens the letter, and it tells him, it's a letter from the gaming company, the, the contest, he passed the first round of the gaming design, and he's excited, he's like, wow, he passed, you know, and now he has to do a presentation, the other letter he receives, it says on the letter, what is love? Like, he has no idea what it is. And then we see Mishiro just sitting on a computer chair with a cat. He's like, do you know what love is? <laughs> that had me in stitches, man. That had me in fucking stitches. Um, <clears throat> so, that's what happened there. And this one was called, I believe, Fire of Fireworks? I believe. So, that's what happened there. Now, moving on, we have Sorota now, basically, now, but now he has to do a presentation. A presentation. So, this is just went from being, oh yeah, he did it, he did it, but now he has to do this presentation. So, what ends up happening is... He's working on it, and he's trying to figure out what to do, and, and he has having a hard time with it. And while he's trying to figure out what to do, Rishiro's in the room with him, his room, she's in his room, and saying, oh, what is love? Do you know what love is? I, I need to find out what love is. And she's all on top of him. And it is this one part where she says, um... I need you to, to make me feel my heart skip a beat. <laughs> she says the wrong things at the wrong time. It's like ridiculous. And he's like, what are you talking about? You know, he's being frustrated with her. And then we we have Nanami coming in saying, you know, and she's walk. Michelle is ridiculous because she wears, she walks into a room with him there with no underwear on. And it's like, Come on. So, pretty much, what ends up happening is she begins to leave, and then here comes Misaki Senpai on top of him, like, hey, you know, what's the, whatever. So he ends up kicking everyone out of the room. And then Mishiro looks at Nanami and says, do you know what love is? And she's like embarrassed, you know, blushing and everything. So, what ends up happening? He writes up his presentation. He gets help from everyone from Sakurasa. And he writes it up, and he does his presentation with them. 
And they're giving him pointers of what he needs to do. And Mashiro was sleeping through it. So obviously he needs to change it. And he does it like, he changes that presentation at least 10 times. 10 times. Like, oh my god, you know? Um, he changes it like 10 times. And what ends on happening is, um, uh, I'm trying to think what it's on happening. Um, what ends on happening is, um, uh, the final day comes and he's ready to, you know, go out there and do his presentation and we have Mashiro, she gives him this charm. Which basically is a charm, you know those, you know those little, you know charms, good luck charms. So she gives it to him for his day, and he's on his way, and he's ready to go and and do this presentation. And the I forgot the guy's name, but there's this famous game designer there. And right before, and he says thank you for this opportunity and everything, you know. So and so forth. And right before, he asked, this guy asks him, what, what do you believe? He asks him a very, very tough question. Like, you know, I think he said something about what, what do you believe it takes to be a game designer or something? It was a very tough question. And his mind went blank. And he couldn't answer the question. And then we just have this scene then, he's leaving, and he's just really, really depressed. And during the whole, you know, thing, he was just really depressed. And we find out his game design did not make the cut. It got cut. And he's just walking home, and he is fucking depressed as shit. Sorota. I was like, oh man. So, goes home, he just, he just slumps, he's like, just like this. And he's just, he's like this, he's holding his head, I'm like, oh man. And then, we see Nanami show up, and she knows that it's bad. And then here comes Mashira walking towards him. And he doesn't want to talk to her at all. And even he says, he asks her about her, you know, and, and he, she says, oh, it was it's serialized in uh, the November issue, the manga. And, but he is just out of it. And he wants to say, just leave me alone because, because he felt really bad. Because his thing got cut while she is successful. So, and then she walks away, and then you see Nami being, she's, feel bad about it, and he goes to his room, obviously, and everyone's concerned about him, blah, 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 so what does Misaki says, oh, let's have a, let's have, she's like, yeah, let's have a pool party, huh, so, and we get this really bad scene, where he's crumbling up paper and throwing in the garbage, and he's really pissed, and she comes in, we all these swimsuits, Rusaki. I was like, God damn it, Rusaki. He's depressed. Why are you doing this? So, and they end up planning this pool party thing. And Nanami doesn't want to go. And she wanted to stay home because tomorrow's school. And Sorota's like, no, we're going to go. We're going to go. And... You know, and then we just have this, they all at the pool now, and they're all wearing swimsuits. It's kind of this weird feeling. And we see that, we see Sarota, we see uh, Nanami with a swimsuit, and, and Matt. Shiro, swimsuit? Damn. Damn. She's, she's pretty fucking hot in this. With that swimsuit on. <laughs> I know I'm sound like, a, kind of weird with that, but she was pretty hot. She's pretty hot. Um... And cute at the same time. 
And we had these scenes where he was really depressed, even though he was having a good time. And I think it was Misaki Senpai, she threw a board at his face. Like, what are you doing? And they all get in the pool and shit, and it was just like craziness happening. And then they get caught by this police guy. <laughs> He's like, what are you going to do here? Get out of here. Because they were, they, were, they were not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there when the school is closed and everything. So they have to get the fuck out of there. And they end up going to the storage unit, this one closet, and waiting for the guy to leave. And, you know, we see that uh, Nanami is embarrassed because supposedly she didn't wear any underwear that day. <laughs> she's there, there, and she's got no underwear on. And we get this, oh, my God, this emotional scene. Shiro's right, Mashiro's right there next to Sorota, and she says, Sorota, here's another uh, charm. It's much prettier than the last one. And I'm like, oh. And we now see that there's this thing, and then after they leave, and and you know, you know, Nanami says, "Oh, why aren't you depressed?" And she she says, "I still am." But this was like one of those episodes where you feel bad for Sarota. I was like, "Damn." So what ends up happening is they see these fireworks, and we see um, Sheena Mashiro. She's jumping slow mo, and then down. And she says, we need to still run. So they start running, and Monsieur uh, Sorota starts feeling better about himself and saying that, you know, because of that and because of the fact he needs to move forward. He can't just, you know, he needs to keep going forward. He needs to keep moving forward, keep striving um, to be better and to do the next one. So on and so forth. And that's what he was insinuating on this. And then uh, we see that uh, uh, Nanami's obviously not wearing any underwear. <laughs> and she's embarrassed. And she's happy as well. And it was just like a nice moment. They go back. They're doing the works, you know, fireworks in, the, in, the, in their house. It's Sakurasa. And there was this interesting conversation between Mashiro Anonymy. And Nanami looks at Mishiro and says, I think I know what love is. So this whole situation was like a kind of thing where they get close to uh, Sorota. He was depressed, but now he's over it. So, but this was a really emotional, emotional episode to some extent. And I really thought this was good. Um, rating? I'll give this a 4 out of 5. This was pretty good. I, I like how, you know... He was depressed. Like, ah. That was so bad for him. For Sorota. I really do, man. This guy is... He's trying to be all he can be. And he gets shot down. And meanwhile, Mishiro's, you know, really bad. Next week's episode, another member... Another person for Soccer also shows up. And she seems to be British, I think. It seems like. And she tried to speak English and shit, which was weird. But this was a good episode. Like I said, it just brings up the fact that, you know, Sorota, this was his episode. This was like, oh man, it felt so bad for him. He wasn't able to make the cut. He was depressed. All these other things. Um, But... You can see now that Mashiro and Nanami, they are like trying to on him to an extent. And you can see that Nanami and Mashiro are trying to make him feel better about himself at the same time. Which is interesting because you get more interactive between those two characters with Sorota. But like I said, next week, new character. New character. And she's apparently from England. Just like uh, Mashira, I believe. So this should be interesting for next week. Look forward to it. I definitely look forward to it. Oh, by the way, to the people who are wondering if I'm going to review the animes that I'm not doing episode reviews on, yes, I am. Not that many, but it's going to be a good margin. So, yeah. This has been Bonkai Nitro 2. I will see you guys later. Um...
Bleach review will probably be later today. I will try to get Lane today. Hopefully, we can get a best buy. If not, then we'll wait next week. Um, and One Piece. So, yeah. Good episode of Sakurasa. Sarota. Man. This was his episode. This really was. Uh, I hope to see more good things of them of him as a character. And Mashiro. Mashiro is, ah, uh, just Mashiro. See ya.